This week I'll show you one of my favorite lenses, the Canon 85mm 1.2. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography. I'm here in downtown Phoenix with Carissa and this week we're going to be talking about the amazing Canon 85mm f1.2 L lens and I've gotten so many emails and questions and comments about this lens uh, that I thought, well let's talk about an entire episode just about the lens. Now I call it my magic lens because it gets me out of all kinds of issues, specifically issues where the background is uh, not perfect. And so right now we're in nice, an open shady area here. We've got nice soft light, but the background, we've got some uh, nice plants here that look pretty good, but we also have some nice signs or ugly signs and buildings and things like that. But with this lens, because it has such a large aperture, we're gonna get extremely shallow depth of field. Because it's an 85 millimeter lens, we're gonna get nice compression, which is gonna fix some of those background issues. And because it's so well designed, the uh, bokeh is just amazing, so it can sort of get you out of a bind. So we're gonna be shooting around in downtown Phoenix to show you what this lens will do. And also, I wanna show you why you might not want to buy this lens. It might not be the lens for you because of the price and because it's really finicky and difficult to use sometimes. So let's dive in and look exactly at what this lens can do. And we'll start right now by shooting some portraits here. All right, we're gonna get started by showing you exactly the difference between a lens that can shoot with a wide aperture of 1.2 as opposed to a consumer lens, a kit lens, that can normally shoot at an aperture of maybe 4.5 or 5.6. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a difference, but it really is. So I'm gonna take the same shot right here with this background that's pretty cool, got nice shrubs and some signs and stuff. I'll shoot one picture at 5.6, then I'll shoot another one at 1.2, and you will clearly see that that extra oomph in our aperture really makes a difference in the background. So let's show you right now. One of the things I really love about the 85-1.2, I call it the magic lens because it can take a background like this, which is just sort of uh, blah, and turn it into something that looks really, really nice. And so the key to this is the light. So we have Carissa here in open shade, right up to the edge of the shade. So we have really nice, strong directional light coming and hitting her in the face. It sort of looks like that nice soft box look you might get in a studio. And the background here, because it's gonna fall out of focus and the bokeh is so nice on this lens, it's gonna give us some really interesting specular highlights and all that adds up together to make a really, really nice portrait. And I'll show you the results of our shoot now. One of the things about bokeh that I love is it's all about specular highlights and what those look like out of focus. So right here, we're sort of in a normal shady environment, nothing spectacular about it, but there's a store behind us that has some really amazing reflections in the window. And inside the store, you can't really see it on the video, but there are some spectacular chandeliers. And I know that when I take a picture of Carissa, all of that background is gonna turn out to something that's very interesting and looks great. So we're gonna take a nasty background like we see right here and turn it into a background that's really pleasing using our Magic 85 1.2. Now there's a gotcha with the 1.2 or any lens that has an extremely shallow depth of field and that is you cannot trust the little screen on the back of your camera because the depth of field is so shallow. In fact, with this guy, sometimes it's as shallow as like an eyelash. And so what can happen is you might think your photo is in focus, but it absolutely isn't. 
So one of the things that I've seen with this lens over and over is people that rent the lens or use it for the first few times are really frustrated because a lot of the images they shoot come back out of focus. And so if you're shooting really fast, if you have a lot of movement, you have to be careful or all those shots that you think are great and they look great on the back of the screen aren't any good at all. They can't be used because they're out of focus. So be careful when you're shooting with a really shallow depth of field lens like this one or even a 50 millimeter 1.4 or 1.8. You can really run into some problems. But with a little practice, you can make sure you get the shot every single time. Well now you know why the 85mm 1.2 lens is one of my favorite lenses as well as some gotchas that you might have specifically with focusing with such a shallow depth of field so watch out for that. Now I know that there are other lenses that give you a similar look that aren't quite as expensive because this is a very spendy lens and so most notably a 50mm 1.4 or 1.8 lens. And so what we've done is, if you just look at the links right here on YouTube or go to the Adorama Learning Center, you can see all the reviews for different lenses as well as links to this exact lens. And so you have all the latest information and pricing and all of that stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube videos so you don't miss a single episode by myself and other great photographers right here on Adorama TV. Show you right now. Oh, sorry, I'm not looking at I'm like looking at the building behind you. Uh, for your educational needs. And so, <laughs> sorry. Did she come into the video? Stand over here, Kelsey, so that people know you can like give them the uh. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.